what's up guys nothing unfamiliar about two guys on one four-wheeler it's all good welcome to this episode of catching creation we're gonna go find some snakes on this second day of fall I'm Stan Lake welcome to catching creation We're over here on a power line right away and we're flipping tan looking for Two worm snakes. <laughs> Crazy worm snakes. Check it out. We're flipping tin and we're looking under stuff. We weren't looking in front of it because right here is a black rat snake. So let's catch him and talk about it. <laughs> that was the easiest black rat snake catch ever and it's probably because today is the second day of autumn and he's a little bit slowed down because it's a little bit cool today because snakes get all of their heat from outside they're cold blooded like most rept all reptiles are excuse me he's got a lump in him looks like he just ate something and he's out just sunning on this berm to, to get some heat in him so that he can move along and digest this big meal he just had but they're getting ready to start hibernating and a lot of times they'll use spots like tin where mice and rats have dug burrows to where they can hide down the burrows and uh, and hibernate under the frost level. Yeah, he's got some lumps all up in him. So we're gonna let him go and uh, let him continue to sun on this berm. This is a persimmon tree. And this is a ripe persimmon. But this one isn't very ripe. Don't eat unripe persimmons. Because if you do, they mush your mouth up. They have a compound similar to cloves that numbs your mouth. And it's nasty. Now I'm going to dare stand to try it. What's up? This tree behind me is a persimmon. This is an unripe persimmon. Chance says that this thing is going to make my mouth taste nasty. My only other experience with persimmons was when mean kids in Little League football threw nasty, ripe, rotten persimmons all in my helmet and it made me throw up and it also made me cry. Bullying is wrong. Let's try this persimmon. Oh, ugh. It's making my... It's making my teeth feel fuzzy. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is the grossest thing ever. It's like my teeth are... <laughs> That's what they feel like. It's like there's fur growing on my teeth right now. Well, lesson learned. Don't eat a persimmon that ain't ripe. This is not the thing to do. Or you're going to have fur on your teeth. So these are things that Stan always says, and we call them Stanisms, and we give him a hard time about it all the time while he's filming. And one of the things, he'll start out all of his videos, and he'll be like, so check this out. Isn't it cool that God made this animal like this? It's just a really cool animal. So check this out. This is a really cool animal. Guys, we don't need to have as much stupidity in here. We need to at least be constant. Not trying to be a jerk or anything. So we are down here with our South Carolina team. Chance and I drove from North Carolina down to the southern part, almost on the border of South Carolina. We met up with Stephen and Thomas. 
the South Carolina counterpart to our catching creation team. So we're just up here looking for cool stuff and I'm hoping that we find some stuff other than my sweatiness. It's like most extreme challenge. <laughs> not good at climbing, not good at heights. That was a chore. I need to choose between Mountain Dew and being outdoors. So far, Mountain Dew is winning. I'm Steven Levine, and I don't do anything cool for this team. All right, check it out. I'm here with a dog. We can see him right here. This is Kino. It's uh. I don't know if it's got rabies, but no, it's, it's a dog and he's panting because he's really hot. However, myself, being a very rotund man, I'm sweating like a beast. Whereas I sweat, he pants. It's doing the same thing. We're both thermoregulating with what's going on around us so that our bodies don't overeat. How cool is that? I think it's pretty cool that we are designed that way so that our bodies won't just go into overload and explode because we get too hot. So I'm gonna keep sweating, he's gonna keep panting, and we're gonna keep hiking. Blech.